Do you remember the full-figured women models of the Renaissance paintings? At that time, people were convinced that eating excessively was the best approach to health and beauty. Their logic is easy to understand. A human body needs nutrition. The more you give it, the healthier it becomes, right? It took several centuries for doctors to prove that obesity is a major risk factor for heart disease, diabetes, cancer, and many other health issues. Today, people are concerned with reducing their food consumption to ensure health and longevity. Food and water are essential for human life, and yet it is not our first necessity. Without food, we can survive for weeks. Without water, for days. Without air, for only a few minutes. Have you ever determined how much air you consume? Too much? Too little? Or just enough? Air is invisible, weightless, and free, and perhaps because of that, it hardly ever attracts anyone's attention. This situation would probably continue indefinitely. However, a discovery was made by a Russian doctor and scientist which has created a totally new paradigm. In 1952, Konstantin Buteko found out that people often consume five to ten times more air than their bodies require. An extensive amount of air creates an insufficiency of carbon dioxide in the lungs and in the bloodstream, which badly impacts metabolism and the immune system gradually rendering them dysfunctional. Carbon dioxide deficit also affects respiratory gas exchange and diminishes the amount of oxygen carried by the blood to the brain, heart, and kidneys. This situation can cause asthma, allergies, high blood pressure, anxiety, depression, cardiological problems, growth of tumors, and etc. After a lifelong research, Dr. Buteko came to the conclusion that about 150 of all known diseases are the result of hyperventilation. Those 150 diseases are the most widespread. In order to overcome those diseases and develop health, Dr. Buteko recommended reducing air consumption. It sounds like an easy solution. However, in actuality, this task was too difficult for most of his patients because they did not apply awareness towards their breathing. Then, Dr. Buteko developed a series of breathing exercises which, if performed with diligence, have a miraculous power. They eliminate symptoms and restore well-being to the body, mind, and spirit. From one healed person to another, the Buteko method spread all over the world, often saving lives of those who were sentenced to death by their health conditions. Lucky for us today, the Buteko method is available for anyone, young and old, who is interested in a holistic, drug-free, and safe method for health development. And yet today, several decades after Buteko's discovery, we often hear this advice, breathe deep. Well, as we know from history, beliefs are stubborn, and it can sometimes take centuries to change them.